how to maximize your attractiveness. This video is for those of you who are like me and who are always trying to self-improve and become the best version of yourself possible. If you want to go from looking like this to looking like this to looking like this, keep watching. When I first started my self-improvement journey, it was because I honestly didn't like the person that I saw when I looked back in the mirror. It wasn't out of self-hate that I felt like I needed change. It was out of self-love because I looked in the mirror and I saw potential. Potential for greatness. Potential for improvement. I personally believe that you should always strive to try to become the best version of yourself possible. Why settle for average when you can become greater? These are my eight tips for how to maximize your attractiveness. Number one, having a healthy diet. If you're eating good, you're feeling good. If you're feeling good, you're looking good. Remember that. I lost a lot of fat percentage when I switched over to an all plant-based diet. I'm not saying that you have to go plant-based, but if you really did want to lose weight fast, it's a very good alternative. Number two. Now, I know a lot of people can be a little sensitive when it comes to this topic, but in my opinion, everyone looks better when they have straighter teeth. That doesn't mean that your teeth have to be perfect, but I would be lying if I said I haven't seen a woman that I found physically attractive, but then when she opened her mouth, her teeth was very crooked and she had a, a huge gap. I would be lying if I said that wasn't enough to make me look the other way. I'll admit, sometimes having braces was a challenge, especially when you go to get them retightened. But overall, looking back, I can totally say that that temporary discomfort was worth it because I can remember times where I was so insecure about how crooked my teeth was that I used to put my hand in front of my mouth whenever I would laugh. This is why I believe that if you are insecure about something and you can actually change that thing about yourself, then you should strive to try to change that thing about yourself so that you can no longer feel that insecurity. But if it's something that you can't change about yourself, then you need to learn to accept and embrace it. Number three, grow out your eyebrows. I know you might be thinking like, well, I can't just decide to grow out my eyebrows, but I'm telling you, you can actually make this happen. I went from non full bushy caterpillar-like eyebrows to, well, this. Guys, you have got to stop thinking that it's gay or homosexual for you to take care of your eyebrows and get them bitches lined up or whatever. You look neater, you look more presentable, your face look more symmetrical. And I have honestly had so many beautiful women approach me and just compliment me on my eyebrows and all my other features. I'm telling you, it works, women love it. Whether you're a guy or a girl and you wanna grow out your eyebrows and make them look fuller, you can simply just take some dew growth and put the oil on whatever part of the eyebrow that you want to grow fuller. I, I recommend that you do it on days where you don't plan on going anywhere so you can just let it sit and you, you massage it in. I right, don't don't put too much to have it dripping and shit. You know, you just put a little bit, massage it in, let it sit. Number four, try out different hairstyles until you figure out which style fits you best. It might take a while for you to figure this out you might have to go through several different hairstyles before you find the one or you might not even find the one. You might be the type of person that likes to switch things up once in a while. But understanding what looks good on you will always play into your benefit. So if you don't know, I recommend just trying out something different. Number five, upgrading your fashion. Having a good sense of fashion will always make you stand out from others because most fuckers out here dress like they ain't got no type of sense. And believe it or not, fashion isn't about buying the most expensive clothes or buying the most popular trends right now at the moment. Fashion is about individual expression of personality. Also, since there's such a huge stigma behind straight males being into fashion, this will indicate to a lot of women off back that you are a guy who is comfortable in his masculinity. Number six, tattoos. Tattoos without a doubt make people more interesting. Women will sometimes grab my arms and just read all the tattoos on my arms and my fingers. It's great. 
They also make for pretty good conversation starters because very often the tattoos are linked back to some type of deep meaning or some type of funny story. Not to mention that tattoos make anything you're wearing look 10 times better. I mean, it could just be a t-shirt and joggers and you got your Tumblr aesthetic right there. Number seven, growing the beard. Now I'll admit, I never struggled with getting a mustache, but getting a full beard, it was a little bit more tricky. So if you're someone like me, you might want to start off with just a goatee for a while, just rock that look for a while, because you don't want your shit to be looking weak as hell on the side, you know? You don't want people to be cracking jokes talking about you, you got some mutton chops or something, all right? If you aren't familiar with a derma roller, these things work. Try them out. The way the derma rollers work is the tiny needles that are attached to the wheel make small punctures in the skin. However, this doesn't damage the skin's barrier. These micro injuries actually heal quickly, leading to the stimulation of collagen and elastin fiber production, which can actually improve the appearance of skin, make you grow hair in that area, and it can actually help you get rid of stretch marks. Beards look great on any man, lots of women love them nowadays, and if you don't have a strong jawline, it's very good for defining your jawline. So to use a derma roller first, every single time that you use it, you want to disinfect it with alcohol, and you want to use some type of hair product that's gonna help your you know, hair grow. Rogaine is very good for this. Rogaine is known for revitalizing hair follicles. But what I personally did is I mixed it with other stuff like oils and stuff that will help your hair grow. I actually used a derma roller on both my head and my beard. And I can honestly say that I am truly surprised that this worked because there was only three guys in my immediate family. My father, my older brother, and me. My father was never able to grow more than a goatee and get a few hairs on the side of his face. And to this very day, my brother can't even grow a mustache. For the longest time, being able to actively do something to grow a beard or regrow your head, a hair is crazy. That's the type of stuff that we would see up in the TV shows and the cartoons and shit, you know? But now we in modern times with modern technology and far more scientific studies and this is the place where we at. So how do you use a derma roller? You take the derma roller and you roll it in a horizontal direction, a vertical direction, and a diagonal direction. We repeat this 10 times each. Only use a derma roller about two times a week, making sure that you leave at least 48 hours in between each of those times that you use it that week. Number eight, exercising. What's the number one thing that people always say? I used to look better back in high school. And you wonder why? because we had mandatory gym in high school, 45 minutes of exercise every single day. But nowadays that we're grown, things are different. We have to actually put in effort if we want to stay fit and in shape. So take advantage of the fact that you have options. I know what it's like to be that kid that gets rejected by hella girls. I know what it's like for a girl to just straight up violate you and call you ugly or laugh in your face. I know what it's like. But I'm telling you, once I transformed myself, the treatment from women became completely different. I live in a completely different reality than what I used to. So if you hate being overlooked by a woman, work on yourself. And it, it can't just be about the physical. This video mainly focused on the physical, but it can't just be about the physical. It's also about your spirit, your mind, and your heart. 